I had a uh, Shalom Akim. Uh, I'll praise to you. How about me? I'm shy. Double honor to the apostle of the great millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. Um, <clears throat> I just want to do a quick lesson uh, just to, you know, uh, help brothers out and um, just uh, just to, to uh, show, um, you know, dealing with a lot of these Christians, uh, you know, for the most part, a lot of these Christians use the uh, the new international version Bible. And uh, I've had this one for a number of years, as you can tell. And, um, um, you know, it's basically like a new translation. Um, they put a lot of modern modern words into the, the scriptures. But it's one thing that I noticed, too, and that, you know, brothers probably know, but they they actually take out and omit a lot of verses from this version of the Bible, which is located in the uh, the the Holy Bible, the King James Version Bible, and this is a King James Version Bible. Um, all right, as you can see, the Holy Bible contains the Old and New Testaments, translated out of the original tongues, commonly known as the Authorized King James Version. All right. Um, so you know, with these different versions of Bibles, even the uh, the New King James Version takes out certain words, but this uh, this Bible here actually takes out whole verses. Okay, whole verses from the scriptures are missing in this Bible. Like I said, a lot of these 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 new Christians, you know, these black churches and these black Christians and these different Protestant churches or Jehovah Witness churches. Well, not Jehovah Witness, but uh, these uh these are, you know, Pentecostal Methodist churches. Uh, these are big top mega church uh, churches. Uh, they use this version of the Bible, the New International Version of the Scriptures. But this this version of the Bible was is uh, basically uh, uh, an extreme watering down of the Scriptures. Okay. And I'm just going to go over a couple of verses, uh, uh, verses in this version of the Bible, this uh, New Int Int International Version. And uh, they just omit certain things in these verses and whole verses that um, really show you the, uh, the, uh, the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit is working. Okay? Um, just a couple of verses. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to go to uh, uh, let's go to the book of Luke 17 and 36 and it's mainly in the uh, the New Testament where they do this alright so I'm going to go to the book of uh, Luke Luke 17 and 36 matter of fact I'm going to do it in the I'm going to do it in the King James Version first all right. I'm I'm doing the King James version first. And then I'm going to go do like three or four verses in the New Testament and the New National version. All right. So this is uh the book of Luke chapter 17 and uh verse 30 I'm, I'm going to start at verse 33. It says, Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. All right, now this is Yahweh Shah speaking. And it says, Two women shall be grinding uh, together. The one shall be taken and the other left. Verse 36 says, Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Now, this is describing the type of deliverance that Yahweh Bashman Shai is going to deliver unto the people. You know, it's going to be the elect, the elect of Israel, all right, all right, of the so called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to be taken, uh, you know, from the people, all right. You know, certain women, certain men are going to be delivered, and certain people aren't. And that's just the uh, the truth of the matter. Okay? 
Now verse 36 says, two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Now, when you go to this version here, all right, the New International Version, and you go to that same, right, Luke, this is, uh, yeah, Luke 17, okay, and you go to the uh, 36th verse, you see, you see verse 32, which is remember Lot's wife, verse 33, verse 34, verse 35, and it jumps to verse 37, okay, all right. So I'm going to read 35. It says, Two women will be grinding grain together. One will be taken and the other left. And then it jumps and it just says, Where, Lord, they asked. Right? Now it has a, um, um, a letter noted here. Right? And when you jump down, all right, it has the omitted verse at the bottom. All right? Now that was D after verse 35. And it says, Some manuscripts... Right, which it says, two men will be in the field. Uh, one will be taken and the other left. Okay, and that's what we read in the uh, King James Version. So, so why did they take that out? You know, what was the purpose of, of taking that, that verse out of this uh, version of the scriptures? Okay, now I'm gonna go to uh, the next, the next book um, let's go to the book of Acts alright let's go to the book of Acts chapter 8 verse 37 alright now I'm going to show you something in the spirit which is what these devils try to do because the scripture talks about okay having uh, your how, how, how having the name of Yahweh Shai it's only one name that we could call on to be saved by all right, so I'm going to read this in the book of Acts chapter 8. All right, and uh, it's up here. Acts chapter 8, All right? I'm going to read verse, verse 35. It says, Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Yahweh Shai. All right, because his name is not Jesus, all right? That's, that's a made up word. His name is actually Yahweh Shai because he was a Hebrew, all right, um, which back then they were called Jews, but they were from the, he was from the tribe of Judah, all right, he was a Hebrew Israelite. So his name would be Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, all right. So it says, Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Yahweh Shai. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What does it hinder me to be baptized? And Philip, and Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, is the son of the Most High. Right? And they have that here. Because you have to believe that Yahweh Shai is, is, is of the Savior. And if you do according to what the scripture says and, and the teachings of the men of Yahweh Shai, and, and those who gave the ministry to, and, and the true doctrine, all right, uh, you can be delivered, okay? You may be of the elect, all right? So now when you go to this book here, all right, let's go to Acts chapter 8, verse 37, all right, and the NIV, which these New Age Christians love, all right? All right. All right, and I kind of already got it. I got it marked here with a uh, got 36, 37 with a question mark, 38, because it's not in there. All right. So this uh, Acts chapter eight, right? Uh, I'm gonna start at 34. It says the eunuch asks Philip, "Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about? Himself or someone else?" Then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Yahweh Shai. And as they traveled along the road, they came uh, to some water and the eunuch said, look, here is water. Why shouldn't I be baptized? All right. And then it jumps to verse 38 because verse 37 is not there. But when you go into the margin at the bottom, it says, Philip said, if you believe with all your heart. Uh, right. It says, if you believe with all your heart. 
uh, the eunuch answered, I believe that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is the son of the Most High. All right. So, so they they they're taking away the belief in Yahweh Shah out of the scriptures, which the scriptures talk about how Yahweh Shah comes in the volume of the book. The whole, the whole Holy Bible is about Yahweh Shai and his people and the plan that the Most High Yahweh has for his people and the earth and the universe. But they took the importance of Yahweh Shai out of that verse, man. And that's against the, uh, the true gospel. All right? And these are Christian churches. They're not identifying these points. All right? They're, they're, they're going to continue to use this Bible and use... Whatever you know, whatever scripture they want to use to to, uh, 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 to propagate their their false gospel, but meanwhile, you know the brothers here at Great Millstone, we study, we look things up, we make margins in our scriptures, we you know we identify certain things as we study, and then we bring them out to the rest of the brotherhood to know to stay away from these things, man. Okay. Uh, so from there, I want to go to the uh, Acts fifteen and thirty four. All right, Acts chapter 15 and 34. Uh, make sure that's right, Acts 15. All right, uh, and that was, yeah, Acts 15, 34. Acts, Acts 15, 34 started at... Uh, 32 it says and Judas and Silas being prophets also themselves exhorted the brethren with many words and confirmed them and after they had tarried their space uh, they were let go in peace from the brethren unto the apostles right and these brothers had went to Antioch and they was preaching to the brothers so they was traveling around all right and uh, you had two brothers that went Judas and Silas all right and it says, verse 34 says, Notwithstanding, it pleased Silas to abide there still. So just like what the apostles do today, they come to different states and different camps, and certain, bro you know, certain brothers may come with them, and certain brothers may go back, but then certain apostles or certain brothers may stay for a while, right? And this is in the spirit of Yahweh Shai as well, because this is them um, um, being... Uh, um, Apostles and brothers to the other brothers that's out there, you know. This is a part of the ministry, you know, doing the work. And it says that they were prophets, okay. But when you go to Acts 15 and 34 in the NIV, okay, Acts 15 and 30, all right. Let me start at verse 30. It says, the men, the men were sent off and went down to Antioch where they gathered the church together and delivered the letter. Verse 31, the people read it and were glad for its encouraging message. That's why these, you know, these videos are, 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 are the, uh, the modern day letters. And brothers are encouraged and they get built up in the spirit and they're glad when they watch these videos. Right? Verse 32 says, Judas and Sil Silas, who themselves were prophets, said much to encourage and strengthen the brothers. Verse 33, so, you know, you had two men doing the work, right? And then it goes on to say, 33, after spending some time there, they were sent off by the brothers with the blessing of peace to return to those who had sent them. So at this point, it looks like that both of the brothers left. Both of those prophets left, right? Judas and uh, 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 Silas, right? And then verse 35 says, but Paul and Barnabas remained in Antioch, where they and many others taught and preached the word of the Lord. But it wasn't just Paul and Barnabas that, that uh, remained there. Now, when you go down in the bottom margin, 33a, right, it says some manuscripts, them, it says, but Silas decided to remain there, right? So you had these different brothers come to Antioch, and Paul and Barnabas remained, but Silas did too. And they were all prophets, so Judas was the one that, that, that actually decided to leave and it was sent off to go probably visit some other brothers. All right? So there so once again you you you're uh these this 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 version of the scriptures, this NIV, is taken away from the spirit 
of of Yahweh Shah was shot because Yahweh Shah said that he made his uh, 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 disciples and apostles prophets as well. Okay, he said, "I send unto you prophets." All right, and what do prophets do? They prophesy. So that's what meant from uh, 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 you know the uh, power of the prophecies, you know, and that's just something that these devils do, man. You know, so I would I would advise against. The, uh, having the NIV in New International Version Bible um, They omit scripture Alright It omit scripture as, it, You know It's against the spirit That Yahweh Has uh, Put out there For brothers to be Edified by uh, Just uh, stick with the regular um, KJV Bible Alright Um you know, the regular KJV scriptures. As far as getting your reading and understanding. Now, of course, you can go to these different books and you can do like I just did and reference where they go off and then you can make points and bring it out to the brothers. But uh, as far as like, uh, you know, having the NIV or the NKG, in, in New King James Version, NKJV as your, your, um, your uh, soul Bible, you know, um, you know, leave that alone, man. Deal with the King James version of the scriptures, all right. Don't deal with this new international version, all right. And uh, I'm gonna I'm leave off with one last scripture uh, in in the Book of Revelation, all right. Um, this is Revelation chapter 22, verse uh, verse 18. It says. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifies these things saith, Surely I come quickly to walk. Even so come, Lord Yahweh Shai. The grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai be with you all to walk. So, all these are the words of Yahweh Shai telling you don't take nothing away from this book. And that's what this bogus book here does, man. This isn't the Holy Bible or the Holy Scriptures. It's the unholy scriptures, you know. So, you know, don't deal with this, uh, this version of the Bible, man. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they took out Revelation 22, 21 through 22 out of this version of the Bible. Um, but yeah, I can just, you know, you know, the more you study, the more you see certain things, the more you know. Right. So they have it here. So they, so they just condemn themselves in the, in the book. Right. Revelation 18 and, 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 uh. I mean, 22 and 18. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds anything to them, the Most High will add to him the plague described in this book. And if anyone takes words away from this book of prophecy, the Most High will take away from him share in the tree of life. Yeah, away from him his share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. He who testifies to these things says, yes, I am coming soon. Right? Which is our Lord Yahweh Shai. So, you know... Hey man, every out of word that man shall speak, you know. So your house is gonna come and have to deal with the authors of this new international version, man. Just because they put it in the in the margin, they're still taking out the scriptures, man. You know, because these things are in the inspired. Uh, King James was inspired by the Spirit of the Lord to compile this book together, man. You know, the King James version. But that's all I want to bring out. Um, uh, with that, I'm going to give all praise to you. How about you? I'm shy. Double honors to the apostles, the great millstone, and rule well. Uh, double honors to the, uh, the elders, the brothers out there pushing this word of sincerity and faith. Um, uh, more prophecies are coming to pass. Stay strong. Uh, keep going. Keep pushing. Uh, no matter what, just keep going. You're going to fall, but you know, you got to get back up. Uh, you know, shalom to the two, the uh, true Akim, true brethren. Don't uh, you know, use certain books for reference. 
but don't go uh, wholeheartedly into them like that. You know, stick with the, uh, like it just says, uh, drink waters out of thy own cistern in the book of Proverbs, all right? But with that, I'm going to say Shalom.